training module Remote Corrective Maintenance in the Industrial Environment. This module has been prepared by Mirko Lovisetto, trainer of NAIP Veneto VIT Center. Welcome to Training Unit 5, Procedures for Troubleshooting in the Shortest Possible Time. By the end of this lesson, you will 1. Be able to understand what the quickest actions are to be taken to resolve the problem with the system by the technician at the site where the fault occurred. 2. Learn to list the actions to be taken by the technician and prepare the materials needed to resolve the fault. 3. Understand how to give remote support to the technician to facilitate the resolution of the problem in the shortest possible time. As for the first outcome, Rapid Problem Identification and Resolution Introduction to Fault Diagnosis with a general overview of common faults and symptoms and signs of malfunction. Then Quick Diagnosis Procedures Tools and Methods for Diagnosis and Checklist for Identify the Problem. Then Immediate Actions for Resolution which are the steps to follow for quick repairs and some examples of common intervention and their solution. In the end, safety guidelines, which are the safety standards during repairs and the precautions to take to avoid accidents. As for the second learning outcome, preparation and planning of intervention action. Here, you have to learn to list the actions to be taken by the technician and to prepare the necessary materials to resolve the malfunction. Preparation for intervention with a pre-intervention checklist and gathering preliminary information about the malfunction. Then, planning actions, define the action to be taken and sequence the operation to be performed. Then, gathering materials and tools with a list of necessary materials and tools and equipment required for the repair. Then documentation and recording. You have to complete the intervention form and record the activities and the materials used. In the end, emergency management. In case of critical situation, you have to decide which intervention to be made and you have to coordinate between the on-site technician and the remote support. The structure will ensure that maintenance technicians have all the information and skills necessary to handle malfunction efficiently and safely. As for the third learning outcome, remote support for problem resolution. Understand how to provide remote support to the technician to facilitate problem resolution in the shortest possible time. First, Effective communication techniques. Decide available communication tools and channels and strategies for clear and precise communication. Then set up remote technical support, software and technologies for remote assistance and a guide to using remote support platforms. Then start remote assistance procedures with steps to guide the on-site technician and problem resolution through remote collaboration. In the end, emergency management, how to intervene in critical situation and how to coordinate between the on-site technician and the remote support. Thank you for watching.